So 9.5 is, is uh, concerned with alternating series. We're going to start with the alternating series test, and then we're also going to talk a little bit about the remainder um, or the error for an alternating series. Um, the alternating series test is defined this way. If a, ser uh, if a series has terms that are alternating in sign, so we have positive, negative, positive, negative, they're decreasing in magnitude, so each term is smaller in magnitude than the preceding term and the terms have a limit of zero then our series converges by the alternating series test. All right. Alternating series test is a test for convergence. All right. So if you find a series that does not meet this last condition it can't diverge by the alternating series test. All right, we don't use the alternating series test to prove divergence. We only use it to prove convergence. If we find um, a, a series which doesn't meet this condition, then it diverges not by the alternating series test, but by the nth term test for divergence. All right, so that's a. It's a. It may seem like a minor point, but it's important in terms of justifying your answers in the proper way. Um, the alternating series test is never used to prove, prove divergence. It's only used to prove convergence. All right. So as we look at a few examples here, we want to determine if this series converges or diverges. And the dead giveaway for this is you, you're going to have, um, if it's going to be an alternating series, you're going to have some negative 1 raised to a power. All right. So that if we raise it to an even power, we get a positive term. If we raise it to a uh, an odd power we get a negative term. So our a sub n that we use for this these tests um, are decreasing in magnitude and have a limit of zero is really the part of this that doesn't include the alternating sign. Alright so we're really talking here about this thing right here. Alright so we can take a look at that um, if we take a look at the limit as n approaches infinity of n over 2n minus 1, uh, we can solve this limit using L'Hopital's or we can divide both uh, numerator and denominator by n, but either way we get a 1 half. Right? This uh, limit of a to the n as n approaches infinity is not equal to 0, so this series is going to diverge by the nth term test. For divergence. All right, those terms, the, the limit of those terms does not approach zero. Look at our next example. If we think about the the part of this that's not alternating, it's just 1 over n. All right, so for this series, the terms are alternating, so that we meet that condition. They are decreasing in magnitude as n increases. These terms are decreasing in magnitude. and they do have a limit of zero. Right. So since we meet these three conditions, this series converges by the alternating series test.